An update on the controversial Citizens Advisory Committee designed to unite Mobile Police with the community it serves. It looks like there is little support for it. News 5's Alan Carter attended the public safety meeting this afternoon and gives you an insider's look at the discussion. Even though the mayor said he'd be willing to compromise on a Citizens Advisory Council, getting it passed still seems like an uphill battle. That's the recommendation of the, of the committee, is to make no recommendation. Officially, the Public Safety Committee didn't offer any recommendation, but throughout it was clear which direction they were leaning. If we can't get the answer as a body of seven with, with the authority that we have, there's no appointment point of counsel that I think will, that'll get it. Two of the three said they didn't think it was a good idea. Council members Williams and Rich. Having a committee of lay people that would be advising council members who are also lay people when it comes to policing to me brings very little value <clears throat> to the table. But for Councilman Manzi, one of the ordinance sponsors, the value is in transparency. If I were to just unilaterally accept some of the criticism I'm hearing of this, then the whole premise of our, premise of our judicial system doesn't work. Because you have crimes that are brought in court day in and day out that are judged by 12 persons who would be considered lay people. Even though he may seem outnumbered, both Manzi and community members say this is far from over. Well, if it doesn't get passed, I definitely know that the pressure won't die because the citizens will continue to petition. One thing that was uh, helpful out of this committee meeting, it lets me know uh, who not to really invest time with at this point. And so we'll be reaching out to uh, our other colleagues and hopeful uh, that we'll be able to, to reach consensus on moving forward. The council will vote next Tuesday, and five votes are needed for it to pass. So far, only council members Gregory and Daves have not spoken publicly about the advisory council, which means both would have to join with the three ordinance sponsors in order for it to pass.